Hello again, everybody. Thank you for watching my video part one of Brecon Temple. Right now, I will make another video part two of Brecon Temple, and I would like to tell you about the history right here. Brecon, it was a Buddhist temple that built around 12th century was in the reign of the King Jaya Waterman the Seven. Around the year 1191 AD. This temple he dedicated for the Buddhist religion and his father. But after the reign of the King Jaya Waterman the Seven was finished, in the middle of the 13th century, this kingdom had been changed religions from the Buddhist to Hinduism that this country was ruling by King Jayawarman VIII. So even the name of the king looks similar but they they all not from the same family. Right? They all not the same family. So most of the Buddhist temple had been destroyed or we could say had been converted from the Buddhist to the Hindu religious. That's why most of the Buddha sculpture on the wall of this temple or other Buddhist temple had been destroyed. Some of the women dancer or apsara had been converted from the women den to the Shiva dance tale. Now we go and see all those sculpture being converted together. Let's go. With this sculpture, it's a very hard to tell. But you can see like in a whole thing. This sculpture, he had like in a third eye right here, and he had many arms. But the third eye and the other arm, they were added when the Hindu came. Originally, this is sculpture was the sculpture of the dancer that we call Apsara. But they could made it from the lady dance to the Shiva dance. And this is uh, their window decoration that they made like in a cycle column on the fourth window or the fixed window. Next to that, you would see all of the beautiful dancer right here that we call all of this dancer Apsara. Not only at the anchor wood that has that had Apsara done. Even the other temple, Buddhist or Hindu, they all had Apsara done because they are all of the women god done that they used to dance for the god or we could say the entertainment dancer to the god. Another decoration in the shade right here they all hundred missing. What's the happen? And what is the decoration inside the shade here? The decoration inside the shade that is that was a Buddha sculpture that tired of the Buddha meditation. But all these Buddha sculpture had been destroyed around the 13th century when this kingdom ruling by Hindu. And the Hindu, they came to convert this temple from the Buddhist to Hinduism. So they tried to change all this decoration from the Buddha to the priest.
past the four narrow doorway, you would see one of these platform that it had a free hole on the top there with a water crane on the side there. This was a one of the Hindu symbol that they used to stand by the god Hindu statues inside the hole. And the water drain right here was the holy water drain when the Hindu people, they came to pray in this temple. Why I gotta say Hindu and I gotta say uh, Buddhism in this temple? You will see when we go next. Right here, you can see the cycle stone right here. This was a Hindu symbol that we used to call this symbol Sivalingam, that the symbol of the Siva God. We don't know exactly how all of this symbol, but the temple actually more than 800 years old, and this symbol maybe been here during the convert the religion from the Buddhist to the Hinduism. I arrived at the central of the temple. I might bring you to see all over the four entrance from the main four direction that we can see like in a whole entrances with many doorway inside there. See it? See, everyone can see right here. At the whole wall and the column, they all had like in a small cycle hole and they were a lot still. And all of these cycle hole generally the used to holding with the ruby or the gemstone back to the top. But you could confuse it. If you see some other, other small cycle hole on the ground, that is part of the Lego that they use for carry the stone to put them up all together. And right here is the central tower of Brekkan Temple. You would see right here is the smallest cemetery. And this cemetery was not built at the same time of the temple. It was built around 16th century when the later generation king they ruling over the power in this kingdom. He had built one of these cemetery for dedicated to the old king. Step by step, you would see the small hole on the top of the tower. It looked like a fire of the candle that they burn it on the top of the tower. Not only one of these directions, all, every direction. And right here, this is the meditation hall. During the Buddhist period, the monk, they were using insider for make the meditation. Spray that right here. Now I try to walk out on the northeast because in at here, they had the most important thing that I could tell right here. First, you might see one of the building with the red stone building, like the top, uh, like the highest platform right here. This was originally high school that they used to training the monk about the Sanskrit and the Buddhism. Next to that, you would see the highest building with many columns right there. This one. This was a library. So all every temple, they all had library from the main entrance east. 
Generally, they build on both sides of the entrance, north and south, but in this temple, we could see only one. This is most of the wood that they cut one of the big tree will grow on the top of this building. This tree was very old, so they chopped it off, but they still left some wood on the top there to getting destroyed by the natural, so they would not damage to the temple in the future. Most of the temple that been grown by all of these big trees because all of those buildings is more flat, not that high as a Hindu, Hindu temple. Enjoy the overview from here. I will try to make another video at another temple. And not only the temple that I'm gonna go to make the video, I will make like in the street food and other culture of the local people from Cambodia. Thank you, please like, comment, and subscribe on my channel.